Welcome to the MindTap training video, Exploring the Live Virtual Machine Lab Interface. The content pane has a set of tabs in the top color bar. When you select a lab from your course learning path, the default view is the Exercise Content tab. So your lab opens with the introduction to your lab displayed in the content pane. The other tabs include the Lab Navigation tab, which allows you to select from all the practice labs available to you. The Settings and Customization tab displays the various controls for customizing the content pane to your preferences. Note that Settings and Customization includes some display options you might find helpful. Turning on the Advanced Accessibility option allows navigation using keystrokes rather than the mouse. You can also select High Contrast, which provides advanced color contrast for those with visual impairments. And using the options below the high contrast control, you can set your preferred font size. Returning to the tabs at the top of the pane, next is Help and Support, which provides access to resources like the Lab User Guide and support videos. Scrolling down, you can also find how to contact support if you run into a problem you can't resolve yourself. Navigating within the content pane is easy. You can use the scroll bar or the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to move through the content. Also note that the border between the content pane and the lab toolbar is clickable, so you can drag it left or right to adjust the size of the content and device panes. Other content pane navigation options are at the bottom of the pane. The next and previous buttons navigate forward and back in the sequence of lab exercises. The top button takes you back to the top of the current exercise. The done button allows you to mark the lab as completed. The print button opens a new browser tab with a printer-friendly rendering of the lab. And the log button displays information which may be useful to accessibility users and technical support. Let's move on to the lab toolbar, which helps you manage your lab session. At the top of the pane are a button that allows you to either show or hide the content pane, depending on how much space you want for your device pane, and a button that tells the system to fit your device's resolution to the available device pane space. Below these controls are all the pieces of hardware you'll use in this lab. Notice there are icons representing each device. If you have any questions about what an icon means, the user guide has a device icon table for reference. A device can be in one of four states. Off, busy, meaning the device is starting up, shutting down, or resetting, and is not available to connect. On means the device is connected. And suspend means the device must be resumed before connecting. This can be done by selecting refresh. At the bottom of the toolbar, you have the Lab Countdown Timer and Reset button. The timer is a reminder that you must complete all lab work in one sitting, but please note that there is no time limit. If you need more time, just click the timer to reset it. If you don't reset, the system will assume you stop working and log you out. Below the timer are three buttons, one for powering on all devices, one that resets all devices that are currently powered on. This also clears any current progress made within the devices. And a logout button that releases and resets the devices within the lab for reuse. You don't want to log out unless you've either completed and submitted the lab or plan to start over. That brings us to the device pane. Let's close the device pane. Turn off our active desktop and take a closer look at the device pane. Now let's reconnect to the first device shown in the toolbar, the domain controller. Remember, you're connecting to real equipment. There may be a short wait while it powers up. The device status indicator will show busy and a color bar will indicate progress. Once you've connected, the desktop or console of the lab device is displayed in the device pane by a viewer. The top left corner of the device viewer shows the name of the connected device. In the top right corner are a connect button for refreshing the connection to the device and a hide button to hide the view of this device. 
Once a device is connected, notice that more controls for that device are displayed in the toolbar. If you have more than one device powered up, there are a couple of ways to control which is displayed in the device pane. If scroll is enabled in your device view style settings, you can scroll through your available devices using the mouse or the browser scroll bar. Or you can click on the name of the device on the toolbar to focus on that device. Those are the basic device pane controls. For more details on these and other functions, you can look to your user guide. For more tips on working through live virtual machine labs, see the other videos in this series.